Hey guys, it's Morgan Zeggers, and there's a big update in the partnership between Russia and China that you need to know about. Here's what happened. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Western companies began cutting off business with Russia. This included global payments networks like Visa and MasterCard, which is a huge hit to Russia and the Russian people. So what did Russia and Russia's banks decide to do? Well, now they're looking for a new partner and they found one with communist China. So they're gonna rely on the Chinese union pay. By relying on China's union pay, the Russian people could once again do international transactions. According to the union pay website, the cards are accepted in person in over 180 countries and in over 200 countries and regions online. Now this is significant because it shows the growing connection between America and the West, two enemies, Russia and China. They may not get along or trust each other, but both of these countries want the West to fall. So let's just say an alliance or any sort of reliance between the two is not good. The two leaders, Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping, released a joint statement recently where they said this was a new era where their relations would, quote, know no limits and be, quote, superior to political and military alliances of the Cold War era. This growing partnership is occurring at the same time as idiotic leaders in Washington, D.C. carry out some of the worst military and foreign affairs policy ever seen, including, get this, asking communist China to help avert war with Russia. You heard me right. Biden officials representing America repeatedly asked communist China to help fix things with Russia. And guess what happened? China not only completely ignored us, but then they went right to the Russians to let them know what we had asked, basically ratting us out. But what else were the Biden officials expecting when they asked one of our enemies for help calming down another one of our enemies that's basically allied with the other enemy? In response to this news, Nikki Haley said on NBC that she was, quote, mortified to see Biden ask China for help with Russia. Haley said, quote, you never ask an enemy for help with another enemy. That makes perfect sense to me. So, well, now not only do we have to keep an eye on the growing partnership between Russia and China, but I guess now we also have to keep an eye on what the dimwits in Washington, D.C. are sharing with our enemies as it all goes down.